be honest, have you missed me? I've missed you just as much. It's been a busy few days. Let me show you what I've been up to. Well, it's been a busy few days. So I'm back in the pantry today, clearing out the rest of the floor, and then we're gonna start some of the pointing. So these bricks actually need brushing off first, just to get rid of the last sort of debris off of them and make them a nice color. I've started already here, you can see the difference. So I'm just gonna brush these off and then that's ready for pointing. Now you all know I'm not a big prep guy, but the finish of this really does depend on all the preparations to clean off the bricks nice, getting all the joints nice and deep so you can get in there with the mortar. All that makes a final finish really good. If you don't get that bit right, it's not gonna look great in the end. Alright, so the pointing is well underway. Sabina's painting the window and cleaning it now. So we're going to paint the stuff before and then point up to it so it needs, leaves a nice crisp finish. So we've actually made massive, massive progress today. The window's painted and cleaned. A lot of the pointing brick-wise is done. So I'm just gonna point one of these reveals up and then we're kind of ready for the spray plastery thingy. Well, you've seen it before if you watch me, but that's gonna be cool. Well, you can start to see this coming together now. It's got to dry, obviously, and then just clean up the stones. And I'm going to do the same either side of the reveals and then this bit is going to be a bit flatter. So one of the problems in here is that there isn't actually a windowsill. Now, now I think putting a wooden windowsill back in there is probably a bad idea. Because this window is still single glazed and because the pantry is going to be kept cold we're ultimately going to get some condensation there. So the wood one will just get moulded and rot. So I thought what would fit in nicely is we've got these hanging around which are like these terracotta uh, squares. So I'm just going to make a simple windowsill out of these and it should match in nicely with the brick as well. Right, so the time has come. I'm starting the rendering with my machine. Oh, this is tight. So I'm gonna get this stone wall done and I'm using my special blastery thing, which some of you may have seen before. It's basically a bucket with four jets and the compressor blasts the mortar on super quick, super efficient, really gets stuck in there. I'm doing that now. I'm just concealing 
I've just got to smooth this last little bit off and then that's that wall done. I did forget about covering the window, the newly painted window up. So it has got a bit splattered. Alright, so I'm just about to start the second wall of blasting it with a machine. Let me just show you quick. Okay, so here's this wall done. It's quite hard to see with the light of the window. So this behind me is the next stone wall we're doing. Let me just show you what I've done. So I'm gonna render this the same as I've done here, but I've kind of picked a big bit in the middle which I've pointed up. So I'm gonna leave this exposed as kind of like a patch sort of thing. Anyway, let's just get this sprayed. The end is in sight. Just as a top half to do, then the point in. Clear up. It's been a long one. It's been, as I said at the beginning of the video, a long few days, but the pantry is very nearly there. So this wall is pointed. This wall is looking really good. Really happy with that one. And then this wall. All the walls are just basically lime and sand, so it's not like a plastered finish. It is pretty smooth, I managed to get it quite smooth, but it's more rustic, shall we say. I have all these keystones picked out, I think it really adds something, so a bit of a longer video today. Yeah, I know I haven't been in a few days, but as you've seen from the video, it's been a long slog. So if I look like a man, a broken man who needs a lot of sleep, that's why. The Chatelaine herself will be back in a few days to see this. I'm hoping I can get all the rest of the little bits finished, cleared up, so it's all done for her coming back, which I think would be nice. On that note, it's been nice to catch up with you all again. I'll see ya, well, when I see ya.